Hello everyone, happy to see you here and here is our question today. We have a very tricky algebra question today. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 minus 3. So on the first side this is a very simple question. We have all the same numbers. We have 3, we have addition, we have division and subtraction. So every of you learn division and subtraction in the third grade so you know about this operation and you can easily solve it. Right now I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself real quick. Right here we have three options, option A, option B, option C, which is really great so we can easily check our answers here in just one minute. It is it is really great. So here is our question and I want to show you these, these solutions. So one part of students solve it like that. They say okay 3 plus 3 divided by 3. And for those who don't know about order of operation they solve it in, in the next way. They say okay from left to right real quick we have 3 plus 3 we have 6 6 divided by 3 we have we have 2 and 2 minus 3 equal to minus 1 but then they say okay I don't have this option so this is absolutely incorrect incorrect approach so they reject this wrong approach because we, we cannot like go from left to right and for this question I have this PMDMC order so let's solve it according to a correct order of operation because as, as you can see this is absolutely wrong order of operation from left to right we cannot go addition then division we need to start with addition but I want to show you this here with this PMDMC so this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and I just wanted to rewrite this question. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. So here is our, here is our question and let's solve it according to PMDMC. First step according to PMDMC, this is parentheses. And let's look at it. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. So we just go to the next step. What about exponents? As I told before, we don't have any squares, cube, force power right here. So we just go to the next step. The next step, multiplication and division part. Let's scan. Are there any multiplication or division signs? Let's look at it. If we right here addition, this is not our case. Yeah, right here we have division. So we need to start from this division. And let's look at it real quick. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3. We need to know that this is equal to, to 1 and minus 3 in the end. So we just skip this part. We just find multiplication and division part. The next step, addition and subtraction. And moreover, you don't need to know about PMDMC at the end because addition and subtraction, this is very obvious one, 3 plus 1. We have 4, 4 minus 3 equal to, equal to 1. And according to PMDMC, a correct answer is 1. But what about an option right here? Right here we have option 0, so it looks like maybe some students solve it 3 minus 3 equal to 0, they divide and somehow they, they say, okay, option 0 is correct. 1 is not equal to 3, option B is incorrect as well. So what about a correct option? Because we solve it according to a correct order of operation. But what about a correct option if you're talking about this test? We, as I told before, no A, no B. But what about this C? We have 0 factorial. Let's re remember or learn that 0 factorial equal to equal to 1. We need to know from school about it. So 0 factorial equal to 1, which is absolutely the same 1 as right here. So as I told before, according to this PMDMC, a correct answer is 1. But according to this test, a correct answer is option option C. So our answer, our answer is option option C is a correct answer. And forget about this wrong solution about this zero because some some students maybe very maybe one or two percent solve it uh, like that they say okay three minus three equal to zero and then they somehow divide it by it and they say zero some students solve it as three because they say a lot of three divide uh, plus minus right here they divide some three but as you can see according to pmdmc a correct answer is option option C, zero factorial. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, pre-algebra concept, you can subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.